Hey guys, it's Tepco Cycle Repair. Today we're working on a Kimco 50X. This is the Super 8. So what this one is doing here is battery's charged up. You hit the start button and the, and the starter just cranks really slow. Let me show you. Okay, draws a lot of power. Kick start simple, no problem. It's been sitting a little bit, but there you go. So there it is running. Runs fine. Go to crank it started again. Okay, can barely crank it. So what I'm gonna do here is pull the starter out. I'm gonna take it apart and clean it up. It's got two, look like uh, 10, eight millimeters in there. One right there, one there. Other side, plug right here. We're gonna yank it out and take a look at it. All right, now to open this up, we need a uh, seven millimeter. And take the seven millimeter and take out these uh, two bolts right here. All right, two bolts out. And that's that's from the inside there, and they look pretty dirty. So let's see what we got in here. Let's pull it apart. So I'm just slowly pulling it apart. There's an O-ring right in here. Make sure that that O-ring doesn't get stuck on here and you rip it apart, because we're going to just reuse the same one. All right, you got brushes in here. All right, and you have a washer. So this washer right here goes on here. Okay, here's the two brushes and they're spring-loaded. Right, and there's a spring right there, you can see. All right, there's a spring right there. And then there's the other spring right there. And you can kind of see where it sits in. So it just sits inside of there, behind the brush, and pushes the brushes out. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up this from electrical cleaner, clean the hole inside here. We're gonna take the uh, inside, see it's all dirty inside of there. I'm going to get this. Let me pull it out of here for you. All right, that's all pulled apart there. We're going to look, and you want to look all through here. Make sure you don't have any burns or anything, any marks, any rubbing. I just got some just kind of dirty crap in there. So I'm just going to clean this all out really good. All right, with electrical cleaner, and then we'll put it back together again. I'm going to clean all this up here. Same thing with the cleaner. Check all my contacts and make sure these wires... Everything is good and it, you know, it all looks good. So I'm going to give it a good cleaning and then we'll reassemble. All right, so I got everything cleaned up. You can see the uh, contacts here all nice and shiny again. And I got the uh, brushes right here nice and clean. And the only thing I'm using is a uh, little 3M red Scotch Bright pad. I uh, got inside the case here all, all clean. I'm going to take a little bit of um, dielectric grease and put it on the shaft right there. It sits down on the bottom just to help with any resistance there. A little bit on the shaft right here, and then we're going to slide all together. Now we got to get the two little springs inside of here, and of course the springs stick out a little bit further. So um, it's going to take a little bit of finagling to get that in there, but not too big of a deal. Uh, you just got to, you know, kind of work it in there and hold the, hold them in while you're pushing pushing the armature back in and everything. So let's get this all back together. All right, so we're back together there. You just got to kind of hold it in one finger one with one brush and kind of just sit the armature in there and slowly work the two in and with the screwdriver, slowly push it back, kind of catch each side and get it down in there. So we're in. Everything's about contact here, so everything's got to be nice and clean. So let's get the, uh, the rest of the case back on. An important note, guys, here, when you're sliding the case over it, make sure you hold the shaft at the bottom here or it'll pull the armature right out of the... Uh, right out of the bottom here where you were just trying to get these uh, contacts and brushes all together. So make sure you do that. Okay, so there's a little tab inside of there. Um, it's got little, it's like a washer. It's got, let's see if I can shake it for you there. There you go, see how it popped up out of there? It, it's little grooves in there that it needs to sit inside. If it's not sitting inside of there, you won't be able to, when you put it back together, it won't spin. It'll be really tight in there. So make sure you get that back into the grooves before you put it all together. All right, so I got it all back together here, guys, and we have uh, the ground here. I got the connection for the positive all cleaned up. I got a battery on my bench here. We're going to go ahead and test it, so let's see what it does. Yeah, it's way better than before. Much more power. See that? All right, so let's go mount it up and see how it does. All right, it's all mounted in. Let's give it a shot. Much better. All right, and that's all there is to it. I'll be straight up with you guys. Putting the um, the windings there back into the brushes was a 
pain in the butt, but uh, you know, it can be done. It's one of those things. But uh, that's all there is to it, guys. Hopefully you like this video and it helps you out. Get your uh, scooters cranking again. Hopefully uh, you like this video. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. It really helps me out. Hit the uh, bell for further notifications. Until next time, guys, this is Tepco Cycle.